In celebration of its 50th anniversary, General Motors' Lordstown Complex held several tours for the public and media, offering a look at how it manufactures its vehicles. I brought my parents out here. My dad started out at General Motors in 66. I've had a number of Chevys. I've always had a Chevy car. Now I have a Pontiac, always GM. I've been a Chevy man all my life. You're our first group. Good luck, and thank you very much for being with us today. There's literally hundreds and hundreds of jobs, different jobs, you know, from start to finish. And how it gets built is, is a solid, good core group of people, which we have here at Lordstown. Welcome to Lordstown. Thanks for joining us today. It starts over next door where, you know, they stamp the metal out. The body shop uh, welds the car, the main body of the car together. And then it goes through our new automated paint shop. And once that's done, it's, it's sent over to us. And it'll go through the trim shop. Where you're standing right now is in the middle of General Assembly. Behind me is the brand new trim shop. We just put this in, traveled up into the conveyor, into this overhead here, on its way to the chassis department. The interior of the car all goes together in the trim shop. Then it's sent over to our chassis, where the underbody of the car will be put in, the engine will be put in. This is the engine line. So if you can look to your left, you can see that that's where we load the engine and transmission. We marry them together by securing them, then we load them to the line to go down the line to get further built. Once it comes to the end over here, we check it for quality, make sure everything's good before it leaves our line. And then it goes up into the overhead um, bank, goes all the way around and gets dropped down into AGV. Go to the series. That is correct. Then off to final process and uh, it's inspected uh, to make sure we have that high quality. Basically after 23 hours of build time, the car is completed now. It, it's changed so much over the years, the automation, you know, years ago it, it, was, it was total hands on. We enjoyed seeing who, how they designed the assembly line and just matching the parts up exactly. So it was neat for me to see it, I'm a car guy, I always have been. Uh, I like seeing the automation side of it. Informative and with the engines and the so forth, how they put them in and drop them in and so forth. It was very nice. I think it would be just the way the conveyors had the car going down the line, the fact that um, the employees have such a small period of time to do the job. Well, that's huge for this valley. Um, you know, over the years we've been a big part of this valley. And then, you know, years ago losing the mills and different jobs leaving this area. And it's, it's always been that Lordstown's been here and been solid uh, for the community. We've, we've stayed strong. We've built a beautiful, beautiful car, a high quality car for, for numerous, numerous years. And uh, we will continue on doing that.